ending up on the podium. What are your first thoughts? How did that go? Uh, I mean, good. It's always fun to be on the podium. Um, my runs were not that good as I had them in training. So the good thing is I have another opportunity <laughs> next week, you know. Yes. But I'm happy with my yeah. to be on the podium. Do you think that there's a lot to clean up for you, or it was more just small things that were annoying? Um, the first one, like bigger things, second one, smaller things. But in total, you know, it's close. So. Which I feel like when when athletes say small things, like for normal public, it's like minuscule things. Like it's hard to really see even those small mistakes. So still, two clean runs down. I mean, do you love this track? Do you love coming here? I do. I love coming here. We train here in the preseason, so feels like also a little home track, you know, because I have lots of runs here, so I like it. So you're excited for the double World Cup? Yeah, I hope the weather stays cold, so, you know, our sleds go fast then, so I like it, yeah. Okay, cool. Well, congratulations. What are you going to do with all these medals? You've won so many. Just collect them and collect them. <laughs> just, collect, just keep collecting. Can we just get a vision on this? Look at this thing. Wow. And now you're still the overall leader. Have you been the leader like for this many races before? Or is this kind of a first? I was already a leader once. I don't know for how many races, but I never won the overall. So we'll see how long I can keep it on. Yes, look at this jersey. This Look at it. It just looks I'm great. Good in yellow, right? Yeah, yellow looks incredible. Good. Congratulations. Thanks. We'll see you next week. Thanks. Clean up those mistakes. You got it. <laughs> see ya. Uh, Dominic Fischneller having an incredible season. He's one of, when he was a younger athlete on the junior circuit, they referred to him as the prodigy. Um, he was that good. So he's had a lot of races where he's come really close, but it seems like this season he's continually finishing on the medal stand, which is why he gets to wear that coveted yellow bib. So we'll see if we've got some more interviews coming up. Everyone, um, some of these athletes have to go prepare for the team relay that we have in about an hour, which is arguably one of the more fun events that they have in luge racing. But Aperiode's right here. He is the hometown guy. Uh, everybody was wanting him to win. And it's been so cool. It's been a full Latvian sweep. Yeah, maybe we'll sit. Maybe I'll just talk about him if we don't get an interview with him. It's been a full Latvian sweep this weekend, which has never, we've never seen that before. I've heard the Latvian anthem more times this weekend than I did ever before this weekend. So really exciting for the hometown crowd. Um, it's just been a lot of fun. And it just shows you home track advantage is just major. So if we could just build more tracks around the world, that would be a lot of fun and advantageous for everyone. But looks like right there, he has a little, he has a little picture a kid drew for him. And this is what happens when the tr when races come to their hometown. People want to come to the track. They want to see what's going on. And it's just a lot of fun. There's the band playing here. Um, he's going to do one more interview. So we'll just we'll just hang out for a second. But um, the relay race coming up, I'm really excited about it. It's going to be cool. So what happens is each team will pick their best athlete from each discipline so fastest woman fastest men fastest doubles team so these guys that won i would assume that they're gonna have to head straight back to the top and get ready for the relay because they could win another medal that would be insane if latvia went for four all the way across the board his sister that's so his sister's who we talked to earlier uh kendia apriodes she's the one with the dog so it's a whole family affair within luge um aunts and uncles get into it, brothers and cousins get into it. Uh, it's crazy how, I mean, when you hear about it from someone at a young age, kind of like we were talking to Christoph's Marins yesterday and he was like, yeah, my parents had just heard about it and I jumped on a sled and, and then I got really into it. So it's just fun to see everyone out here, but I don't know, we'll see. He might need to head up to the top. We might not have a strong post game interview for us today. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let me see what else would, was interesting that happened today. Felix Lock, he was up there, but then he got bounced out from that second run, and it always just can come down to just a few final curves that can knock someone out of the racing. And Felix Lock, I mean, he's won more medals than all of us have even seen in our lifetime, and he didn't end up on the, on the medal stand. But that's one thing that's interesting about the season after the games is that for some people, it just doesn't matter as much because these points don't really mean anything going into the Milano Cortina game. So this can be a lot of big rebuild year for a lot of athletes. It can be for teams, they're trying to get sled setups back dialed in. So it's a time for younger athletes to come on the scene like Apriodes. He's done incredibly well. And then also it's interesting because Russia is not here this year. So it kind of mixes up the whole field and how it's been going for everybody. So Felix Locke, even though he didn't end up on the 
podium today, I'm sure he's not very worried because all that matters is the race at the end of the four years. And so this is where a lot of athletes are testing new things. And Max Langenhan, the one who got silver today, he's been off the scene for a little bit. He was injured and then come back with his first race to end up with a silver medal. But we're not surprised. It's very German-like. Uh, they're so good. They're so fast. So we always plan to see Germans on the podium. Um, we have people getting ready for the next race, pulling out all the medals, uh, putting up, see right there. So they've got four trophies. No, no, please come in. You're famous. You're on. So they're getting it all set up. This is four trophies because it's the fastest men, fastest women, and fastest doubles team for each country. Um, do you think Latvia will win again? That's okay. She says yes. Latvia is doing great. So good. Say something in Latvian for everybody watching. In Latvian. Latvia. Yeah, super. <laughs> okay, great. Great Latvian. That was awesome. I wish I spoke Latvian. I don't know anything about Latvian. So anyways, they're getting set up. Um, it's so cool. Each track will have their own design of the medals. Um, when it comes to world championships, they all have the same medals, but each track kind of will have their own, yeah, like what they want to leave on the circuit. And for the for the World Cup to be here for two weeks in a row is a big deal for the Latvian Federation. They get a lot of exposure, a lot of rock bands at the track, and a lot of fun. He's so famous. Thank you. Um, we'll see who comes over. He's just a wanted man right now because he did so well. You are so popular. Um, Everybody wants to talk so. to you. But, um, but I'm not from Sigold, but I... I believe there's uh, many, many people uh, from my hometown, which is uh, near sea. It's like 40 kilometers, uh, half an hour drive from here. But uh, yeah. So you drove, when you started sliding, you would drive half an hour every day to come train? Uh, almost every day, yeah. But uh, not every day, I will say, but uh, yeah. I have uh, I have more time to think about the track, about the training competitions, you know. So the, the commute, oh, cute. So cute. The commute was not boring for you. That's yeah, probably. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so you love your home track. You're, were you comfortable? Were you nervous being in front of your home crowd? Yeah, of course. It's always uh, challenging uh, because uh, home crowd, home walls, uh, as I can say. And uh, you want to be perfect down the track. You know the feeling. And uh, yeah, I guess today was my day. and. Uh, I've I'm almost two perfect runs I made, and I've never slid that fast before in uh, Sigold track, so it was something new for me as well. The ice has been so fast this week. Every even I was talking, we were talking to Chris Stubbs Marins yesterday, and he said the ice was too fast for me. I could not, I could not go down. So you said you made small mistakes. What what would you count as a small mistake for you? Yeah, and on uh, Friday's CD group training, uh, I was also thinking it's a little bit too fast for me. Uh, yeah, and uh, small mistakes in competition. Uh, first run. Uh, down in the bottom and uh, second run uh, up up there a little bit some skids and uh, not so smooth but uh, in overall I would say I'm happy yeah it's crazy when small mistakes for you people don't even notice we were just talking to Dominic about this so they're such high caliber athletes to be able to have inches of mistakes down this track so congratulations are you excited for a second race here next week yes of course i'm excited ex excited and i'm waiting and uh, yeah can't wait to compete next week here it's been a big week for latvia you've won every single race here i don't think this has happened no, before uh, women singles so you didn't didn't win oh i'm sorry you're right i've i've been misspeaking i've just been yeah. so excited for latvia being on the podium for all of these yeah, races shout out for diana <laughs> yeah, that's true diana i'm so sorry it was even your birthday i was just you're right thank you for the call out i needed yeah. that bringing me to honesty well you have relay coming up you're racing in relay yes. are you what are your feelings how you guys will do oh uh, as always uh be as fast as possible and uh can't wait to beat my personal best from ladies start yeah. are you comfortable at ladies uh, i guess so yeah. if anyone is it would be you this is your own check yeah. anyways congratulations i'll let you go get ready Thank you so much, you. Uh, champion, right here. And we'll see you next week. I'm yeah. sure we'll see you. Thank you. I'm, I'm sending you all fast vibes. Okay, thank you very You'll much. Do yeah. Wait, yeah. actually, one more. Is there anything you want to say in Latvian to everyone watching? Paldies visiem, kas atbalsti, kas tur rīkš un tic. Un, jā, nu, mājas trasē jāpadara savus darbiņš līdz galam. Tā kā tiekās vienmēr, tiekās arī nākamdēļ. Un tur te padās jau komandas. Thanks.
Um, super cool. Yes, Diana, if when you're watching this, I'm sorry, you did win at women's. It's just been such a big deal to see Latvia on the podium for every race, and we heard it for doubles. We just heard it for men's, and we may hear the Latvian anthem for relay race. So coming into relay, we will reintroduce it in a few minutes, but he's going to head to the top. We mentioned before the steel work that they do in between runs. He's got to go get his sled ready. And everyone is going to move down to women's start. So the men only really get one training run. I don't even know if they got a training run this week from women's start. I'll have to back check and I'll come back to you. But everyone's going to head up and they'll get ready for the relay. And we'll talk all about it and tell you why it's so fun and exciting. But congratulations, Latvia, Germany, Italy on the medal stand for men's today. Um, super cool, and there's the man right there, hometown hero, grew up 30 minutes away from here, so there's a lot of people here supporting him. So that's it for the men's race today. Give us a little break, grab a coffee. Um, we are going to go get ready for our relay, and we'll be back in a few minutes.